Hey everybody, I am back. I've been sitting here. I have not even gotten up yet because I guess spirits still want me to sit here. So I'm gonna pull a couple of y'all, uh, a couple of cards from the angel deck. Um, angel, my spirit guides, my ancestors, my Ori, my third eye, my crown chakra. Um, first of all, spirit, can we protect those while I open up and to do these readings? Uh, any negative energy, we are going to return to sender. A thousand fold. Also, um, remove any of my personal thoughts and feelings as I channel. <sighs> and cover me. Hey, y'all, let's get in. It's going to be real quick, one, though. This thing going to pull like six cards. Well, maybe. We got blame and reverse. So somebody is taking responsibility for their part in a situation. Well, like I said, taking responsibility. Somebody is accepting their, their role in something we're gonna figure out what said i'm learning to accept the things that i cannot change oh ashe let's see <laughs> humor say i focus i choose to focus on the lighter things lighter side of life you better <laughs> you better learn how to laugh at yourself because yeah Whew. that definitely will help you accept things <laughs> more if you can find the the humorous lining in the cloud <laughs> okay Oh, okay. Oh, we got health in the upright. It says I will honor the physical vessel that enshrines my soul. So somebody might be working out a lot. Somebody's probably um hanging out with friends and and, and like having a good time or oh, shit. I'll be listen, I'll be laughing in this bitch by myself. <laughs> Especially if I took some mushrooms. I'll be in this bitch laughing for hours. But um yeah, I mean granted we all go through stuff, but don't never you lose your sense of humor. And being to accept that things that you can't change is, yes, most definitely a must. Give me one second, y'all. Um, okay, I guess she didn't send the pictures yet. Okay, so what else for? Oh, acceptance and love. Okay. I'm loving it. And love says, I commit to the practice of seeing the good in all things. Absolutely. And accepting things that you can't change. Like, that's a beautiful thing. Being accepted. First, you want to love and accept yourself, first of all, and foremost. But then that opens you up to the ebb and flow of accepting things from other people. Except, and being open to accept love from other people. I'm sorry, y'all give me one second. And my mommy is texting me. Um, ooh. Okay. I'm sorry, she texted me fabrics for um <laughs> to, to make some outfits. Hey. Okay, so we got love and acceptance, and we got humor. Mm. We got doubt. Say, I release the need to know all the answers. So if you're feeling doubtful us about something, this is when you just have to let, like Spirit always tell me, like, let go of the steering wheel. So, <laughs> so sometimes we just got to let go of the spirit, steering wheel. Like what they say, let go and let God. Yeah, let go and let God. Like, it's okay. I mean, we, but we human, though. We all have moments of doubt, you know, but... Just don't let that overtake you. And anytime you feel some doubt, like, you know, bring, come back with something positive. I call that the balance. Like if I say something negative about myself, okay, now you got to say three positive things about yourself. You got to balance it out within, within, because even if you say some negative things about yourself in a joking manner, your body doesn't know the difference. Your body doesn't know that it's a joke. So if you say that I am stupid, then your body going to be like, oh shit. Okay, y'all, we stupid. <laughs> so you have to be very careful. Mm. We got the empathy in reverse for the health. Mm. I'm going to have to get another card to clarify that because I don't understand what that means. I mean, empathy is being able to... Um, 
Mm. Somebody is jealous that somebody is healthy. Is what I'm getting from that. Like somebody is literally jealous of somebody. Healthy. So I'm going to assume that this is somebody that may not be healthy. Hmm. I'm about to pull another card on it. Hmm. And then to clarify acceptance and love, we got the guilt card. It says, I release any beliefs that no longer assist in my soul's growth. So you might have somebody that may be feeling guilty about moving, about being in love. But they're accepting it though. So I, what are they guilty about, Spirit? Is somebody else making them feel guilty? And I'm still stuck on this over here, this empty and rebirth with somebody else. This is somebody that is, okay, let me, Ooh. So we got freedom in reverse, clarifying the humor and the doubt. We got doubt and upright, and we got freedom in reverse. This is not making sense. Maybe I just need to put. Oh, okay. That's what they're feeling guilty about. So somebody is accepting the fact that they can't change a situation and they're moving on to a new love and they're feeling guilty because they're not going to be given. Somebody feels guilty because they're not going to be given to a situation anymore. But we got to pull another card to clarify that. Then for this humor, and then we got doubt and upright, and then we got freedom in reverse. Mm. Well, somebody thinks it's funny that somebody is doubting that they are going to be able to break free from something. Okay, okay. Now, we got this health and then we got this empathy in reverse. And then we have this courage. Mm-hmm. Let me pull another one. Okay. Ha. Okay, that's why they find it funny because they're balanced. Somebody is doubting that somebody's going to break free, but they are balanced. So that's why they find it funny that a motherfucker is doubting them because they like, you just don't even understand. Like, I'm standing in my power right now. So for the fact that you think that I'm not going to be able to break free from you, I find that shit fucking hilarious. Oh, okay, Spirit. I was going to say because this shit is not making sense to me. Okay, nigga, that better be cold. And the health is is clarified, but saying with this empathy in reverse. Somebody was scared about a health issue. Somebody was afraid about a health issue and they're really basically just surrendering. And the reason that this empathy is in reverse is because they're not trying to hear they're not trying to hear somebody else's side of a story. So mm, mm. So with that health and upright, that means that somebody is really honor, honoring their physical body. Like somebody is not being abusive to their body anymore. And then with this courage and surrender, I can release my need to control. This may be like um, alcohol abuse. It could be um, drugs. It could be um, just overindulgence in anything. Like, And then even sex. Oh. Oh. Mm. 
So they don't want to hear somebody else's side of the story about they help. Mm. But they got, they got the courage and the surrender. So they found inner strength um, to face fear with confidence. So maybe somebody had some fears about their health and they done surrender and said, I can release me. And then not trying to control it anymore. They like, okay, if this is what it is, then let me surrender and let me, let me, um, start to honor my body. Mm. Okay, spirit. Let me honor my vessel. Somebody wants to honor their vessel now. And they ain't trying to hear somebody else out of the story, but we got to pull something else on that. Mm. Yeah, somebody find somebody. <laughs> That's what that means. Okay, spirit. The more cards I pull, the more this shit starts to make sense. So for this acceptance, somebody has accepted the fact that they're in love, but they have somebody around them that's trying to make them feel guilty for not giving to them anymore. But they're not going to be successful with that. Somebody like, I'm not with the mind fuck. Like, I'm in love and I'm moving on and I'm accepting that I can't change whatever the, our relationship is and I'm not going to feel guilty about not giving to you anymore. So you're unsuccessful at trying to make me feel guilty about that. Okay. That's it. We got a spirit. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I said that somebody thinks it is funny as fuck that somebody doubts them that they'll be able to break free from them, but they don't realize that within they are balanced. So they're going to find their happiness because this person, whoever this is, probably feels, well, no, we ain't going to say that because I don't know if that's what that is. But anyway, it says, I bring a state of perfect harmony into my world and I do so without judgment for balance. And it says, I am aware that being happy means that I am on the right path. So somebody is finding it very fucking hilarious <laughs> that somebody thinks that they still got them chained down and that they won't be able to break free from them. They doubt them. They 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 think find the doubt funny as fuck. Okay. Okay, that's what was humorous. Okay. And somebody's accepting the fact that they in love and they not finna feel guilty about it. Whoever tried to make them feel guilty about it, about not giving to them anymore, there's a ix nay. It's a ix nay. Okay, give me one more on this health spirit. Oh, bro. Yes. Somebody is surrendering, somebody is getting the courage and surrendering to their growth and they taking control of their health and they ain't got no empathy for they ain't trying to hear nobody else when it comes to their health anymore so somebody is like like i said with this health card that could be drugs that could be alcohol that could be i mean just eating wrong like it could be any indulgence like too much of anything is a poison you feel me so it could be too much of something and somebody is like literally taking their health into their own hands and saying no i'm gonna have the courage to surrender to this growth process and i have zero empathy for somebody that doesn't understand the journey that i'm on because it's literally no they feel like it's literally nobody's business yeah Somebody ain't got no regret about being in love. None. Shit, somebody don't give a fuck about changing the past. They ain't got nothing to do with it. They not giving it to it no more. There was a, not a success. And people want them to feel guilty about it. And they like, ah, not son. <laughs> Shit. It's humor. Whew. Somebody feels like a failure because somebody is balanced and happy. <laughs> somebody feels like a failure because they couldn't stop somebody from breaking free. <laughs> you know what? That should have never been your goal any damn way. But you know, it's whatever. Okay. Those are cute. I can do something with that. I can do something with that. Give me one more on this. Oh, yes. Pride. Somebody is proud of themselves. Oh, so I love myself and I see myself in other, anyone. You got courage. You got surrender. Like, yeah, that is some beautiful energy. Somebody can't, somebody can't afford to have empathy for other people anymore. Because that empathy for other people and that, um, especially as far as the health is concerned, I feel like, With this energy, I feel like this was um, a people pleaser. 
I feel like this is somebody that did a lot of things in their life just simply because everybody else was doing them, not because it was particularly what they wanted to do. And now that they've made the decision to get serious about their health, they don't get zero fucks. Like they have zero empathy for people that feel like, oh yeah, you changed. Oh, you don't want to do this no more. You don't want to do that no more. Oh no, nah, you changed. You becoming, you know, X, Y, and Z. And somebody had the courage to surrender to the growth process and say, yes, I am. And I'm proud of myself for being able to step back from things that may have been toxic to me. I'm proud of myself as you should be because you committed to the growth. You committed to you surrendered. You had the courage to surrender to your growth process. You shouldn't be proud of yourself. And you can't afford to have empathy for you. Because I feel like if people want you to do negative things just to quote unquote prove that you're quote unquote one of them, like you don't have to destroy your body to prove that you're cool with people or to be able to hang with people. Like, yeah, you shouldn't have to destroy your health in order to do that. And congratulations on your courage. You understand me? To surrender to your growth process. And pride, you should definitely be proud of yourself. All us divine feminines, we are proud of you divine masculines. Y'all stand on y'all shit, stand in your power. And if it's something that you don't want to do, don't do it. Don't be around ungrateful motherfuckers <laughs> that are in denial that You're not in denial. You know motherfuckers ungrateful and you're not in denial about that anymore. Oh. But be very careful because they're still trying to come up with even more creative ways to kill you. I just said that in a reading earlier today that karmics never stop. They never stop. They're going to keep trying and keep trying and keep trying because their brains are not wired to stop. They're trying to be very creative about how they kill you. And I do mean kill you in real fucking time. They are trying. They have not. I don't care how quiet they've gotten. I don't care how sweet they've been acting. I don't care. Shit, hell, they might not even be acting sweet. They might be out here acting like a whole fucking fool in these streets. But just understand that and it will never stop. They're always going to try to find a way. And they're trying to be very creative about it. So be careful. With new friendships. Oh. Ah, spirit. <laughs> they are going to be creative about trying to kill you. And they are going to use new friendships to do it. If you meet somebody and you don't know this person and it seems like they, it seems like, like it was just a chance meeting, it was not. It is not. They're being creative. How about how to kill you? And they are going to send somebody in that is going to act like a friend, but there is a no friend. They are no friend to you. <laughs> oh. Yeah, you got perseverance in reverse. Uh. <laughs> Well, I'm going to see what come out after that. <laughs> I'm telling you, somebody's trying to... I, man, okay, spirit. Somebody's trying to act like they're not still trying to do this. But they are not being honest. As I said, they are trying to be creative about how to kill you. And they are going to use a new friendship and they are trying to act like they are not doing these things anymore, but they are not being honest. They lie. They tell whole lies. They tell a whole fucking lies. They are still trying to kill you. But since they can't get next to you in the way that they would normally get next to you, they have to be more creative about how they're going to do it. 
They're trying to be creative about how they're going to do it. They're trying to send in new friends, but you're probably not even fucking with no new people. And if you're not, keep it that way. And they're trying to pretend like they ain't on that shit no more. Oh, I'm not persevering that anymore. I'm not trying to do that anymore. But in actuality, they are fucking lying. <laughs> they're going to make it look like an accident. Not on purpose. We gonna make it look like an accident. Like I said, they're gonna make it look like an accident. See, loneliness in the bag, that means that you're, it's gonna be around people. Like I said, in the friendships, be careful of your friendships. Be careful of your friendships. See, cause you might get lonely and you might just say, okay, it's this one chick that I know that was super fucking cool. I'm going to call her because I'm lonely. And something's going to happen to you. And it's going to look like it was a fucking accident, like it wasn't on purpose. It's going to be a friend that they are going to send in because they feel like you're lonely. You get lonely and you break. Something is going to happen to you and they are going to make it look like it was an accident. This so-called friend that you call because you're feeling lonely is going to kill you and make it look like an accident. Don't break because you're lonely. You are lonely like, <laughs> I don't know, <laughs> I don't know. I mean, but is it like, is it worth the fucking, is it worth the consequence? And if it make it look like an accident, I said something earlier about an insurance policy. An accident pays double, boo. An accident pays double. So if you got an insurance policy for a million, a motherfucker that makes your death look like an accident is going to get two million. It'll be your friends that you called because you was lonely. Man, be careful. Be careful. Because people don't want to change. People don't want to see you change. They'd rather kill you before things change. they rather kill you before things change. You go sleep with motherfuckers and you go fuck with motherfuckers because you're lonely? Yeah, that's... <laughs> and you because you don't want to change, it's just going to bring that... Shit. I swear spirit be speaking, speaking through these cards. Woo. You get lonely and you don't change and you think you can trust motherfuckers. Because you got low self-esteem. You think you're in a relationship with motherfuckers, but you're really not? <laughs> and you forgiving motherfuckers? Mm. You drop your guard down and you don't no longer... I mean, I'm not saying you should ever fear a motherfucker, but in real time, like, if you drop your guards and you feel like, okay, yeah, these motherfuckers ain't gonna do shit, whew, and, you are la and you lack discipline, mm. And you're not using your discernment when motherfuckers show you for the, show them who you are. I mean, show that when motherfuckers show you who they are, and you don't use your judgment and your discernment. Man, baby, listen, you're not gonna have this peace. You not hell. You might not even have your life. Now listen. Uh -uh. Hmm. Wow. You got peace, you got indecision and adversity. Spirit is saying, use your intuition and don't look at things as adversity. It's an opportunity to learn. It's a challenge. It's a way to learn. And Spirit says, stop worrying. 
Stop working. Use your intuition and stop worrying. Because your spirit, your spirit and your guides will never lead you wrong. Yeah. And somebody may be having grief about losing a lot of friendships, but I just feel like for me, I did, of course I grieved over relationships that I lost. And, and that relationship ain't necessarily got to be a romantic relationship. That can be with family. That can be with friends. That can be, you know what I'm saying? Anybody that you, you know, shared a bond with for whatever reason. Of course, it's going to be a grief stage. Like if you don't know the stages of grief, you need to Google them. So you will know exactly where you are in this grieving state. Even when you lose a job, you're going to go through grief. You need to know what those steps are so you'll know what stage you're in in the grief process. It's like, don't worry and just allow yourself to feel whatever you're feeling. And be patient with yourself. Through your grief process, be patient with yourself. You can't rush the process, but Google that so you'll know where you are. So you'll know how far you have to go. Patience. And don't be envious of people that have already healed. Just get on your journey. Whew. Mm. Mm, that's tragic you got envy in reverse you got abundance in reverse and you got blame in reverse so somebody has somebody around them that is envious of their abundance <sighs> in reverse this is somebody else's energy this could be somebody else's energy Somebody is blaming everybody, everybody else for their lack of abundance and they are envious of somebody else for being abundant. And it's like, um, excuse me, ma'am or sir, but your lack of abundance is nobody's problem and nobody's um, problem but yours. <laughs> and um, being envious of somebody else's abundance ain't going to get you no coins, bitch. It's like, go get you some coins. Okay. It's not blaming other people because... um. You're a bum. <laughs> no, I don't know if people bums or not, but I know that's bum mentality. This is lack mentality. Like, I, I've never been in the lack mentality. So, um, yeah, that in reverse is like mad crazy. Uh. Somebody is envious because they're not abundant and they're blaming somebody else because <laughs> Shit, I accept responsibility for my well-being. So somebody's not accepting responsibility for their well-being. Says I am a limitless being and I can manifest whatever I desire into this physical reality. So somebody knows that they don't have the ability to manifest and say envy. I am the same as everybody else with different challenges. So somebody doesn't see that they're the same as everybody else. They think they special, but you can't manifest shit for your fucking self and you're mad because um, you're not taking responsibility for your well-being. Bitch, please. Now I'm finna go and get up out of here in real time. <laughs> I ain't got time for the foolishness, okay? But um, whoever is on their journey and you are finding the courage to surrender to the growth process, congrats to you. We are so proud of you. Keep going. Um, yes, and if you are feeling stages of grief, please Google that so you will know for sure um, what stage you are in and how close you are to that light at the end of the tunnel. And like I tell everybody, that light at the end of the tunnel, that is you, baby. <laughs> that is you guiding you through the darkness. So congrats, you guys. Uh, and I am out of here. And until next time, spread love and light. Mwah. Peace out. Mm -hmm.